Welcome back up here to the Gear Loft. Uh, we have a nice little talking head style video for you all today. Yep. Um, we are going to make a video talking about our favorite ultralight items. Um, we get asked about this all the time. You know, we don't consider ourselves like truly, truly ultralight backpackers, but we definitely like have a lot of what people would consider ultralight items. Our criteria for ultralight was none. Um, Just minimalism, good materials. And, and what's, I guess, like what is generally known as ultralight, you know, um, we have items that weigh like a quarter of an ounce to eight ounces. So I don't know, we have a loose definition of ultralight. We just, we just do what works for us. Yeah. Um, we're not going to do like a five favorite items. Um, we're just going to go through all of our favorite ultralight items and we broke them up, um, you know, clothing, shelter, food, miscellaneous, and we're kind of going to go through it uh, that way and we'll, we'll flash all the weights up on the screens and all the product, um, official names. So if you want to know what these are and where to get them, check that out. Let's jump into clothing first to kick this off. So the first item I want to talk about is actually a brand new gear item that both Kevin and I uh, both have. This is the Patagonia Airshed Pullover. This is, mine is a size XL, coming in at about 3.9 ounces, so very, very light. This shirt fits, fits a niche that we were looking for yeah, for a sweet. long time. This is a pseudo wind shirt slash long sleeve shirt. Uh, basically, it takes care of a piece of clothing that, you know, if you wanted to wear like long, long sleeves while you're hiking. It's windproof, I, I should say wind resistant, as Patagonia it's calls water it. water resistance. It's wa uh, I guess it's water resistant. I wore it in the rain, it, it beat it off. It beat it up a little bit. Um, it's very warm. But um, it's extremely loose fitting, extremely lightweight. It's very packable. It's too. very packable. And um, yeah, so it packs down to, to nothing. It's stretchy, super comfortable to mm -hmm. wear. Um, so even if it's hot out, um, it generally keeps you, you can stay kind of cool in it. It sheds, sheds um, you know, sheds wind off you. Uh, we've just started using these. We've gone, we've taken them running a bunch of times. We've taken them on a few hikes as well. Couldn't be happier. In fact, David Gray just released his video and he's, he's wearing, wearing it. He's so wearing one of these as well. You should probably look into it. Yeah, this is a uh, great shirt, I think, at, at the weight 3.9 ounces and what categories it covers as far as multi-use, wind resistant, and providing some warmth. It's, it's fantastic. Everyone's seen this in a lot of the gear videos that I talk about. This is my rain jacket. I don't believe North Face makes this anymore, but those people that are out there, you can research it. This is the North Face, it's called the Tachyon Anorak. So it's a rain jacket, it's an anorak, which means it doesn't zip all the way down, it's a pullover. Um, coming in a little over six ounces. Um, so it's like a helium-ish Yeah, jacket. so it's, it's very light. I've had it for a long time, but you don't get you know, when, you, when you're talking ultralight rain jackets right now, you don't get a lot of options. So not much of adjustability, not much cinching. Minimalist. Very minimalist pullover. Works great. I've been, I couldn't be happier with it. And again, like six ounces, that's, that's pretty good for a piece of, piece of clothing gear that I don't really wear all too often. Moving on. You've seen this in a lot of our videos. This is the Black Rock Beanie coming in at about an ounce. You know, it's a down product, so it's super light, it's super packable, it's super warm. One of our favorite things. However, though, Andy just bought the Z Packs Fleece Beanie, and it's actually lighter than this, but we still have to test that out. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to be warmer. I don't that. think it'll be as warm as this, but I mean, these are really expensive, but they're worth their weight. They're very warm, very light, very packable, an ounce. Can't beat it. This might be my favorite item lately. This is so crazy. These are awesome. So this is what Dutchwear sells as his laundry short. It's not made by Dutchwear, it's made by Lucas Ultralight. Luke's Ultralight. Luke's Ultralight. This weighs an ounce and it, it bunches up to about the size of a lighter. I have worn these swimming. I've worn them hiking. I've slept in them. They're made of an of argon, so they're like an argon like synthetic material. So they're wind resistant. They're water resistant. They're they're freaking amazing. Yeah. They have a drawstring on them. Um, 
I got these just to fill like a camp short niche. They're marketed as a laundry short, so when you're through hiking and you gotta wash all your clothes, you gotta wear something while you're washing your clothes, that's what this is marketed as, but like I said, I've slept in it, I've swam in it, I've hiked in it. You got compliments on the trail when you wore them last I night. got compliments on the trail. Um, so I, I, this was a, a surprise, it was like an item. I was like, oh, that'd be cool. Like it's cool to have a lightweight pair of shorts, but I use them all the time and they're very comfortable. So I love these uh, laundry shorts. And yeah, and they weigh an ounce and they roll up to the size of a lighter. So pretty sweet. Next category, we're gonna cover our food related items. So of course, we gotta talk about our Zelf stoves. Um, these are both kind of iterations of a cat can stove. Um, Andy's not so much, but I've got the, uh, the Zelf Fancy Feast stove. Weighs about a little bit less than an ounce. Um, and I like it because it's got a pot, an integrated pot stand and a wick on it, uh, as opposed to most other cat can, can stoves. Andy's stove is a modified starlight stove. It's even lighter than this. I think it's like 0.8 ounces or something like that. No, point Point four five. five ounces, yeah, it's super light and it's incredibly efficient. So he uses this with his caldera cone setup and it's just really efficient. So, you know, less than an ounce for this, less than a half ounce for this and they're relatively cheap, um, but we love these Zelf stoves. He makes a bunch of different iterations of stoves, um, but these are the two that we use, but definitely very ultra light. Last food related item is our Z-Pax roll top food bags. We've had these for over a year. They're huge. If you can see that, we have fit seven days of food in this easily. Um, and you can also throw your, your cooking kit in here. These weigh about an ounce too. They come with a carabiner so you can um, put it on a bear line easily. They're a roll top with Velcro and a, and a little buckle clasp system. Um, we've used these a lot and we've beaten them up and they're waterproof. And uh, another surprise, like I didn't think I would love a food bag as much as I love this food bag. Yeah, they're super popular. Everybody they're uses really them. They're really popular. Everybody uses them now, but man, they are they are so good. For an ounce, um, you can't beat these food bags. If you're in the market for a food bag, definitely just, just get this food bag. Moving right along here, we're gonna talk about some shelter related items. Uh, we got a couple of our favorite ultralight shelter items. The first, and this is the heaviest, of all the items we're gonna talk about, this is our Hammock Gear Dyneema 12 foot hex tarp. Check it out right there. We've got a video talking all about this, reviewing it. It's a great product. It's a great product. The entire setup with Wilderness Logic snake skins with Dutchware stingers on both ends weighs about eight and a half ounces. Um, and that's a 12 foot tarp. Most tarps are 11 foot. Now we don't have doors, but for a 12 foot, sturdy, waterproof, windproof tarp that we have used a ton and yeah. we have had this in torrential downpours. Check out our whole video on it. We love these tarps. They're definitely ultra light. I mean, they're the heaviest item we're gonna talk about, but half a pound for a full size Cuban fiber setup with the extras on it, you can't beat it. Um, but we love these freaking things. Yeah. When it comes to shelter, kind of the last little piece of gear we'll talk about is we actually upgraded our uh, hammock bags. So this is like your Bishop style bag, your double ended stuff sack. This is the Dutchware Dyneema one. And oddly enough, I was looking for a, a waterproof option for my hammock bag because sometimes when I throw stuff in my pack, other things are wet. I don't necessarily want my hammock to get wet either. Um, this thing weighs like a quarter of an ounce. I mean, it's, it is lighter Smart. than the stock most stock like sill nylon hammock bags or bishop style bags um it's lighter it's waterproof wanted one of these for a while and uh, i'm glad people are making them now so uh, this is a cool upgrade we both have them something small but it makes a difference yeah we just were looking for a waterproof option and it's like if you can go cuban fiber you might as well yep yep and like a z-pack sold a double-ended tarp bag that was the closest thing we could find and that works too that works yeah these are cheaper uh, i don't they're probably lighter i don't know but uh we were looking for something hammock specific so this uh, that's one of those dutch part items where the second we found it on the website we just bought them immediately yeah last category items are just kind of some miscellaneous items we have that we consider ultralight. Um, the first one is a new item, props to Frozen. We stole this idea from him. We've used it on two trips now. This is a Nightcore 
NU20. NU20. NU20 headlamp. Um, they don't make the headlamp. What they do is they make this uh, like shock corded cinch. Well, Lightsmith does. Lightsmith makes it, sorry. Nightcore makes the lamp. Lightsmith makes the, the whatever, shock -corded. the shock corded headband. Yeah. And at first glance, you might not think this is comfortable, but it's actually really comfortable. Yeah, that's um, good. This entire thing weighs one ounce. Uh, and it's rechargeable, you have multiple uh, four, settings. four settings on it. Now, Frozen one-upped us and has the NU like 25 or 30. Um, 25, I think, yeah. It's something to look into for sure because it weighs about the same, if not the exact same, and it has a red light on it and some other options. So if you're looking for an ultra headlamp, you might want to look into that one. But these Lightsmith ones are sweet. I mean, an ounce for a rechargeable, 200 plus lumen headlamp with multiple modes. They say 360. 360 lumens. On the highest setting. Um, and now you'll, you don't get that much time with it, but, um, and it's comfortable. Like this headband is really comfortable. So definitely check this out and for an ounce for this, um, you can't beat that. And it's it's obviously very packable because you don't have to deal with like the headlamp strap. All right, final item. And this is uh, this a might, great, guy, great this, item. This might, he might not be able to see this well with my orange hoodie. Um, and this is stupid, and I'm sure I'm sure we'll get some hate from like the survivalists. I mean, survivalists like knives. Yeah. So this is the uh, the Derma Safe razor knife. It's about as minimalist of a knife it's as a I can. It's a razor blade. It's a razor blade in a plastic sheath. And how much does it weigh? This weighs 0.23 ounces. <laughs> And it, can you cut cheese with it? You can cut cheese that's with it. What, that's <laughs> what we care about. Yeah, you can cut cheese with it. Like, look, and, you know. And, uh, and tape. Can you cut cheese and tape with it? In mountain houses. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It works perfectly. Now, full disclosure, for, for our type of backpacking, we don't really need much of a knife. We're just cutting cheese. <laughs> I, cutting I, cheese and yeah. opening bags. Just, just for what we do. I love knives. You love knives. We, we don't. Got, we don't normally carry knives. Oh yeah, we got a bunch of cool knives, but this this works well for our needs and weighs absolute nothing. So, I mean, when you can start trimming off weight in certain places, you can start making up for you know drones and camera setups and yeah. chairs. We bring a lot. That's why yeah. we're not ultralight. We bring chairs and drones and cameras and like all sorts of stuff. But we make up for it with these little things. Yeah, um, yeah. It's just it's it's literally just a razor blade, but. I, Years ago, uh, when I was on some forums, people were just taking razor blades and putting them in a piece of cardboard. It's not bad. Yeah, I mean, I've taken this on three trips now and I've never used it. <laughs> what are you cutting your cheese with? <laughs> I, I guess I, Sam's bringing our cheese. I, I can use my spoon. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So, um, Okay, now, what's your favorite item of all these items? I'm, I'm gonna go with the wind shirt right now. And I'm going with the laundry shorts. Yeah. Can't beat these. Favorite know. of the ultralight, the favorite, favoritest ultralight. That's a close second. That Patagonia shirt, we wore it, um, I think the Linville video. The Linville video will definitely be out before this one. Check out that video. Andy wore that the whole trip. I wore it. That thing is awesome. I think I think this year too is I'm really gonna start looking into more lighter weight clothing. So clothing is definitely a heavy the, aspect of our setups. Yeah, and so we uh, there's a lot of cool technology coming out with clothing that you know you can keep light, you can get really get your weight down, keep your warmth and you know your packability and dryability. That's a word. Well, that wraps up for us. That's our favoriteest favorite. Yeah. Ultralight, quote unquote, items. Um, you know, most of these items weigh a couple ounces. Um, you know, we do keep a lot of ultralight stuff, but that's that's our favorite. That's stuff. our favorite ultralight stuff. So thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, Instagram. Flame on. Flame on.